we are going to follow the usual format. I'm going to show you a slideshow about a particular artist we're going to look at and discuss his work and then just launch right into the project that I have available for you today. The artist for today, his professional name was Tanga. He was a Brazilian artist. Unfortunately, he died in 2016. His real name was Lorena Munoz Alonso. He was a sculptor and installation artist and was considered one of the leading Brazilian artists of his generation. And he died at 64 of cancer in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Okay, we're gonna launch right into the slideshow. I need to open it. I don't know why he um, chose the name Tunga for his professional name. I don't have any information about that. Anybody who's in the research mood? Morning, Daniel. I always welcome folks to do a little research. Um, Tanga was a surrealist artist. And after we look at the slideshow of his work, I'm going to do a review of what surrealism means. And we're going to look at a few pictures of surrealist art to help refresh everyone's memories about what surrealism is about. Folks at home, are you able to see the slideshow? Good. So I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to get rid of our control panel. Let's see if I can minimize this. There we go. What would you say is the definition of an installation art? Can I put a picture up and explain that for you, Eileen? Because it's a great question. So this is an installation. An installation is when artists fill an entire space with many, many, many pieces of art. This, I realize seeing it large, enlarged, is a horrible photograph of an installation by Mr. Tunga, because it's very blurry. It's become very digitized in its enlarged state. So an installation is any piece of art that's made up of lots of smaller pieces of art in order to have it fill a space. Does that help? Okay, cool. He, this particular artist, Tanga, is known for very daring, unusual, elaborate, and as I mentioned, surrealist tinge sculptures. His subjects were desire, enigma or mystery, and rituals. So the little pieces in this installation look figurative. They kind of look like dolls. And I think I have a close up in the next slide. They look kind of like dolls or puppets. I'm not sure, but I think they are soft, not hard. They look to me like they've been sewn, stitched and stuffed and that they're made out of fabric. What do you think? Or they're sponges. I don't know. Good question from Heather. She asked, how big is this? 
they look large from the picture that the previous picture. Unfortunately, in this kind of slideshow, I can't go back. But I think they're big. I don't think they're life size, but I think they're close to life size. They kind of look like sponges. So one of the aspects of surrealism is to take everyday objects and use them in non usual usual ways or put them in unusual settings or places to make them to shift our perception to make them seem to be what they are not so for example if this is made out of sponges it kind of does now look like it's made out of natural sponge this is not where you would find sponge, right? Natural sponge you'd see at the bottom of the ocean. Or if you purchased it in a store, you would see it in your bathtub or your sink. It would be a cleaning device. To see it used in a figurative way, hanging from the ceiling in a gallery, makes it completely unusual and different. It makes you think about it in a new an unusual way. It makes you shift your sense of reality. That's what surrealism does. It is the definition of surrealism. And the previous picture, the installation that we looked at in the first slide is made up of many, many of these red figures along with the other figure that he's created next to it that looks like it's made out of some kind of plastic and wire and wood and made of string. So he was, Tunga was the son of a poet and journalist named Gerardo Melo Morayo and the social activist Lea Battles. And like many other artists, he was trained as an architect, but decided to pursue art instead. Although spatial concerns remained at the heart of his work. There are, is a history of architects in the history of art. There are many architects who turned away from making buildings to making sculpture or other fine art. In 1974, at the tender age of 22, he had his first solo show at the Mo Museum of Modern Art in Rio de Janeiro. It was an exhibition of subversive and psychologically loaded drawings. This is also part of the installation we looked at in the first slide. I don't know what it's about, but I kind of like it. Just a little background about my own personal art practice. I make dolls. So I'm attracted to any sculptor who makes these kinds of figurative pieces. Well, the one we just looked at, this one looks like there is fabric involved in it, yes. But the first one we looked at looks like they were made out of sponges. So I'm not sure what this is made out of. It could be a combination of fabric and plastic and sponges. I don't know. He, he is fascinated by things like bodily organs and their functions, other organic matter. These are recurring motifs for him and it's led him to a unique choice of materials that include bones and skulls, hair, nets, teeth, and viscous liquids, among other things. So your guess is as good as mine. 
as to what this is made of. I'm not sure what this piece is made of either, but these are representative of the kind of work that he creates. His work forms part of the collections of important art institutions, including the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. His installations can be quite large, encompassing an entire room in an art museum. As always, if you like or don't like anything that I'm showing you, please feel free to let your comments be known. I see I don't have my mouse available. So if you could open that up. When I'm playing the slideshow, I don't seem to be able to. Okay. Is she guessing or she did research on that? Okay, so that corroborates what I read that he likes to use natural materials, quartz, crystal, and wires. Awesome. So there's definitely fabric in this one. Good morning, welcome. And I cannot, I would, like to get rid of the toolbar again, but sorry, folks who are here. I but I have no mouse. What? The only thing I can do is advance the slide. So sorry about that, folks. And it's right in the middle of the picture. Oh, well, now I know how to go backwards. There's no cursor? Yeah. You feel free to play. So yes. <laughs> so folks at home, Laura is working to try and get rid of the toolbar for us. Thank you, Laura. Oh, I could just wait, escape wait, the slideshow. That I could have done. Okay. Thank you. All right, but now we're still, where were we? We were at this one. We were at this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. All right, so this is one of my favorites of his. It really shows a lot of what surrealism is all about, where he's taken everyday objects and used them in unusual ways to create something that I think is quite wonderful and kind of whimsical and funny. It looks like a dressmaker's dummy or a mannequin, yeah. Although it's in a cage, which could have creepy overtones. I like the forms and shapes. It's very abstract. No thoughts or feelings on this one? 
We're looking sleepy today. It's three dimensional. It's a sculpture. No, I, I'm pretty sure that's three dimensional and I'm guessing it's ceramic, probably. Looks like it's made out of clay. And the thing on top of it looks like it's stone of some kind. I don't know what's coming out of the ceramic pieces on the bottom, the things I'm calling feet. It looks like some kind of natural, maybe pine cones or something falling out of the bottom. And remember, he did like to use natural materials. So I'm hoping it's something like pine cones or seeds. Sticking out. I was thinking it's like an arm, the turquoise thing coming out. Okay. And I was thinking of them more as feet or shoes with openings at the bottom with stuff coming out, but they could be legs. Yeah. Okay. So where I see feet, Heather sees legs, why not? Or a leg. Oh, okay, I get it. The same color as the torso. Yep. And the skirt, I see that, I read that it's the skirt too, Nicola. And the granite thing at the top looks like a face to me. I'm not sure what the white thing is projecting on the left. That's what I think is the head. That's what I'm reading as a head. And I think it's some kind of big rock. Could be. All right, let's move to the next one. So this is an installation. And I think those big forms again are ceramic probably, although it looks like a bathtub there up on the upper left, doesn't it? There's some kind of hammock filled with stuff that I can't quite tell what it is. Again, the, the digitized photo is not so great, but it definitely fills the space. There's a power to this piece. It's definitely a lot of stuff. Heather thinks it looks messy. Do, do you mean that in a negative way or a pot? in a negative way? Okay. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Okay. If you were there, Laura thinks it might feel different. Of, of course, always an option. This one looks like there's a real person sitting in the hammock, but I don't know definitely creates a lot of questions in my mind. Yeah, what does that mean? The cord around the bottom, making a perimeter around the piece. It could be the museum put that there so people don't go inside it, or maybe the artist made that, who knows? It doesn't completely match. I like the way the hammock projects outwards. There is an attempt to make everything inside that perimeter work together, but then the hammock reaches outside that outline on the floor, which to me is an interesting dynamic. 
All right, let's keep moving on. A lot of hairy stuff in this one. I like the colors in this one. Any thoughts about this before I go to the next? No? I don't know, but remember, en Enigma is one of his things. He's constantly trying to create work that's enigmatic, that's about rituals and desire. It definitely looks like hair. Certainly the parts of this installation are connected by the hair. There's, they're all attached by this long hair. Maybe it's about Rapunzel. This one too, there are these long threads joining all the parts together. Beautiful colors. This is a different series. In this one, he uses a lot of glass, glass filled with liquids. He likes suspending things from the ceiling, which I find interesting. I think this may be the final picture. Nope, there's another one from the series with glass and netting and another. And that's the end of our slideshow about Mr. Tunga. Any further thoughts about him? If not, I'm gonna do a quick, very short slideshow about surrealism. It's only three pictures long. This is going to help you with your work that you're going to do today. So, surrealism, as I mentioned before, was a movement of art in Europe and the surrealists wanted to channel the unconscious as a way to unlock our imagination and to give a thumbs down to our rational mind. It was influenced by so psychoanalysis in Europe. At the time surrealism came of age, Freud was a big deal and also communism was starting to come of age in Europe. So it was an anti-authoritarian movement in art. And also it was a, about the time when psychoanalysis and a desire to understand how the mind worked was in the forefront of people's minds. And here we go with some pictures by surrealist artists to help you understand what surrealism is all about. Folks at home, you can see this, correct? Yes. Title page. <laughs> Here's the title page, short form surrealism. Okay, so the first picture is probably the most famous surrealist painting ever. It is by Salvador Dali. Again, the surrealists like showing everyday objects in unusual settings and in unusual ways. And this Dali painting really is a great example of surrealism because look at all the clocks. The clocks 
are in weird places and they are dripping. And there's one watch that is covered entirely with insects. It's actually bees, the red stopwatch in the bottom left-hand corner. And you're never going to see a clock draped over a branch or a tree in your everyday life. This is the kind of imagery that you see in your imagination or in your dreams. And that's what the surrealists were trying to show in their work. This is a painting by Magritte. Magritte was also a leader of the Surrealist movement. Again, you don't generally see the sky raining men. Magritte did these kinds of fun visual jokes in his paintings all the time. This was the kind of imagery that you would see frequently in Surrealist art, putting everyday objects in unusual places. And here is a great example. Here we have the toolbar again. A great example of a surrealist sculpture. Of which there aren't many. They're, most of the surrealists were painters or poets. This is a sculpture by Merritt Oppenheim, who was a female surrealist. And it is a teacup covered in fur. You never see this in your everyday life, correct? So it's a beautiful example of surrealist sculpture. It probably, if you were to touch it or feel it or see it in person, probably unlocks all kinds of thoughts and ideas in your subconscious. That's what the surrealists were trying to do in their work. All right. It's a very brief, surrealism is very deep and complicated, but we don't have time to get into that today. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of that so that you can understand the assignment for today. Are there any quick questions about either Tonga or Surrealism before I give you the assignment for today's class? No. All right, here we go. Those of you who are here, I brought all kinds of materials plus glue. Also materials you can use to join things together. I'm inviting you to create a surrealist sculpture with everyday objects. You get to decide how you're gonna join these things together. That's one thing that you can do. I'm also going to put an image up on the screen of a surrealist painting that you could copy. You're limited today though on what you can use to do a two dimensional piece of art because I was unable to carry a variety of drawing material today because I had to bring a lot of sculptural material with me. So you can either do a two dimensional drawing of the image that I put up on the screen, or you can create a three-dimensional sculpture using the fan materials that I brought with me today. There's wood, there's styrofoam, there's wire. There is one roll of tape, so you have to use it sparingly. There are scissors, fabric. There is some sewing material, thread and needles. Um, there may be some cotton for stuffing. I thought that I had brought that, not sure. So you are good to go. Folks at home, you have to look around your home to see what you have available. Any everyday objects that you might usually throw away and any adhesives that you have to join together to build. Are we good to go? Any questions or ideas that you wanna share?
No. Okay. All right. And Courtney, thank you. You did quite a bit of research for us about Tonga. So he used everything. Copper, iron, magnets, thermometers, iron, steel, bronze, quartz, rubber, plaster. And there were two mannequins in that hammock, one a man and a woman. He used embroidered silk as well. Thank you, Courtney. All right, let's go to work. Have some fun. We have an hour to do our thing, a little over an hour. And I'm gonna choose a picture to put up. Did we like the Magritte or do we like the Dolly? People are really sleepy today. Or do you want the Oppenheim cup? Do we want that Magritte or do we not want another Magritte? Let's choose another Magritte. That's just, why did I do that? That's the, what am I doing? Games. Big part. Images. So many beautiful Magritte's. Oh, there are paper plates back there that you can pour the glue into. Just be careful, okay? Don't spill the glue, if possible. So hard to choose, right? I love the kiss. Are you waiting for me? No, no, I've got to. You're looking at yeah. the picture, so, okay. Bless you, Daniel, you okay? What? You don't have to use glue. You could maybe wrap things with the wire or the yarn to join it together. You do not have to use glue. I wish you hadn't asked for Magritte because now I, I can't choose which one I will use. <laughs> ah, so many beautiful Magrites. Here's an image with two Magritte's, two for the price of one. Let's see if we can use that. Oh, 
Oh, Alice. Alice is here. Oh, maybe it's it's Alice Larson. Good morning, Alice. Maybe she left and came back. I don't know. Okay, I'm here. I was just switching from my phone. Okay, great. That's right. nice. So this is two separate Magritte's paintings. You could do one or the other. Those of you, I'm sorry, who are opting to do a flat two-dimensional drawing today. I don't have that much equipment for drawing today because my cart was filled with sculpture materials. But people are already starting to build, so exciting. Yeah, you don't have to use glue. You can do a wrapping. Remember how Evo taught us to wrap? <laughs> Just play. You don't have to make something right away. Use the materials. We'll play around with them. See how they feel. Think about what you can do. You don't have to start gluing right away. This is very cool. There's a skeleton. You can cut this out and glue it on your sculpture. That makes it instantly surreal. This is forest wire. This is what they use when they make the caves and stuff like that. Okay. It's wonderful stuff for doll making. So this is this is really challenging your creative brain. So fun. It's fun. Okay, good. Good, yeah, love the architectural stuff. And, uh, no, I, I hate going out. Uh, <laughs> well, but you like doing what you hate. <laughs> you like you like challenging yourself. Now, Daniel likes to challenge himself. Everyone at home getting your act together, I hope. I don't know. about shape, and color, and texture, just like we do in our own work, but we had, we had no end game. Other than that, to make his audience think about what he was doing.
I forgot to put in the chat. Again, I'm going to put my email and phone number. I was supposed to do that earlier. Oh, I can't do it while I'm sharing, can I? Wait, can people at home see this image? Laura, can people at home see the image that I have up? Yes, two images. Okay, great. It is, it's two separate Magritte paintings side by side. Why am I still in preview though? Why can't I get to my chat box? Oh, here we go. Here's the chat. Yeah, he's great, Courtney. I'm in total agreement with you. Magritte is amazing. Um, so I am putting my email address and phone number. In the chat. For those who need it. Those of you who are working to me, you also had the option of finding images on your phone for many, many surrealist artists. You can put a piece of styrofoam in here, then you can put the into the styrofoam, push them through. Too big, yeah. Yes. There are people who actually knit the flies.
Um, yes, I would do it right away. I would certainly get some paper towels. Oh. <clears throat> or actually, I don't know. Paper towel might stick to it. Why the paper towel? 
that door is open. Did it come off? You're welcome. My pleasure. Next month, I'm really excited. We're going to be looking at the contributions of Native American artists. We have a lot. If you are interested, there's a meeting at the Multi Purpose Center tonight, 2nd and Grand Street, about the park that's going to be built at the Union Drive. Is that a controversial one? Well, it was controversial, but now it's going to be public space. So there looking for people to come and talk about what they want to have. It's going to be open and public space.
city for the controversy there. It was pretty much, well, there's still controversy because New York Waterway still is stopping their ferries they might there. Extend their, they might extend their um, Well, the lease is open and supposed to only be for five years. So it's still open. And but so there is a small amount of controversy in much less than there was before. Well, maybe because of the Pump Ridge guy, but they didn't keep it another one. Oh, you're thinking about Liberty State Park. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I don't think of the other one. Yeah. It's a little better than the work, but not a hundred percent safe. The Department of Environmental Protection is saying they're protecting Liberty State Park, which they should, but there's still <coughs> a developer who is nicking it at the edge of the park. Very anxious to expand his draw. Oh,
Yesterday, we're trying the human skull on the hook. Goes like that. Yeah. A lot of it's digital. So much is going to
The Bible
Nika. How are you, Mika? Feels like the microphone's on. Mika. I don't think it's on. Mika. No, it's not on. Oh, Stephanie left. Nika, is Margus, Margo still there? I'm here. Yay, Margo. And Shirley. Shirley, how are you doing? Hi, Shirley. <laughs> Heather, Heather said you love Shirley. Yeah. Me too. And Margo's sending Shirley love. Oh, you got some competition, SD. Big time. You have some competition. Margo is sending Shirley love. Heather is sending Shirley love. Oh, thank you so much for all the love I received. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm still trying. Liz, I'm so. So sorry, I'm using the color pencil. It takes me ages, but I'll just show you a little bit then, okay? <laughs> um, okay, but I have to stop the share for a moment. Is that okay, Daniel? If I stop the share? No, so this is just the, the cup. And I'll, the, I'll, I'll put it back in a minute. Can you see it? Uh, no, oh, I have to go. Oh, wait, wait. Now I've lost the Zoom. Okay, where's Shirley? Here she is. I'm using color pencil. That's all I got here. Yeah, back, moment. back, back away from your camera because I can't see the picture. Can you now? Yeah, back up more, more, more. Oh, you did the furry cow <laughs> and saucer. I love it. You love it. Yes, I'm finished yet. I just got a call from my brother. He want me to go and see. So <laughs> I'm call it a bit. I, is this okay, Liz? Love you it. Herbs. It's you really good. <laughs> Will you bring it to class next Tuesday so I can see it up close, please? Okay, we'll do. All right. I love it. It's great, Shirley. Thank you. Thank you. I love the negative space in the handle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Shirley, more texture in the fur. Some more okay. dark lines to show. Okay. Okay. Texture Got in it. the fur. Really okay. well drawn, though. Good okay. job, kid. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Shirley, for sharing. Anyone else want to do a quick share before I? Oh, there's Mika. Mika, what are you making? Shh. What? What? I'll show you. <laughs> wow. Look at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are that awesome. Was really cool. That's awesome. I love them, Mika. I miss you. Okay, I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> you were totally inspired. Well done, Mika. And you have heavy gauge wire, right? It's thick. No, what? Here. What is wrong with you? Mika, are you using your English? Are you Are you able to use your English? She's muted. She can't find her button. Sorry, it's good to see you. I have to put the picture back up for people to see. We'll, we'll come back. Loved your sculpture. 
And Mika Rita says, bonjour. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, wait, where is that picture? I forgot to save that picture. <laughs> Gee. Right, I'll share. Wait, here, is this it? No, I forgot to save it. I'll find it. I'm still working on my, I'm not working on um, anything for this artist, but I did a Halloween one if you want to see that. Um, we'll, we'll do sharing in a few yeah. minutes, okay, Margo? I want to put the picture back up. There's some people working from the picture, okay? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Margo. You're the best. Oh, I did have the picture on the desktop. Yeah, we're gonna definitely share today because people have been incredibly inventive. I can't wait to see. This everybody at home able to see the picture again? Yeah, it's small, but it's there. I, I'm going to enlarge it. I just want to hide the control panel first. Big enough? Wonder what the temperature is in Japan. Pray for the people in Acapulco. Category five hurricane. And Otis. I'm supposed to say that the Caribbean is very bad. Fake news, fake news, yes. It's great. It's just a 
people that answer the same ones that put your circle all proud and shape on your mm-hmm. on this blurred kids. It's great. Four seven. I oh you even made it so much to go. go. People are coming to the heal. Right from heaven. Put your head. Who's wire? She said, who's why? And I said, that's because she told me that. Oh, I said, sounds like fake yours. It's really been a fun class. I know. It is a privilege to watch you do it work. It's so funny. It's like everybody in the chat. Say that loud. Please, say it so everyone can hear. Everybody's on Like, you tell them to ask Like, can you see the special for the testing or not? Yeah. 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 So sorry if that person said, hi, I mean, everybody, you didn't, you didn't look like my name, yes, I did, 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 I what is that salad? Baby? The baby? The crayon. The table is in the starting point. One thing after another.
Supposed to do a workshop at Stevens at Felker. I found you gave up. I think he's done so many here. They have been great. Some workshops for the city. Well, that we can do because the work is supposed to work at 3 o'clock. It's in the bottom. Somebody made it and didn't like it and turned it up. Alien creature from outer space, okay? <laughs> Great job. We have maybe five more minutes, and then we're going to do sharing, having fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm
Okay, who wants to share? Um, Daniel, actually, we got to start with people at home first today. I think you do that already. No, last week it was people here first. Right? No, Am I right? I had somebody at home had a question. They weren't surely had to leave. That's what happened. No. Trying to be here fair here, Daniel. No, no, no. Okay. 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 We are sharing. Oops, did I get rid of my Zoom? No. Okay, yeah, Courtney wants to share. Um, I did a different degree, and I was just about to start adding color. I don't know if this is visible. Oh, wow. This is spectacular. I know this painting well. Yeah, no, you, so you just drew it with pen. Is this pencil? Yep, pencil. Well done. Thanks. And he's a favorite of yours, Magritte. He is. I adore Magritte. Really love him. It's an excellent yeah. drawing. Thank you. And Terrific proportions, too. Maybe we haven't done a whole class on Magritte in a while. Maybe, maybe it's time. He's He's got so much excellent stuff. It's, it is. He yeah. really does. Hard to pick, but I picked this one. He's it is on difficult. I was struggling earlier to try and figure out. Okay. Um, Susan, you're next in my queue. Want to share? All right. I'm just tying one last little thing here. It's not finished yet. Okay, Laura, are, are you in control? Because I somehow. I'm trying to spotlight Susan and it's, what if I put it her? Oh. Here I am. In full color. I like it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. typically so we can see the top. The skull. Yeah, just lost one. There's skull beads on <clears throat> on top of cat hair, on top of wood that's wrapped in raffia. And then I got some leaves and some other rocks and wire. Just having fun with this. Trying to I make like it. it. I really like that you've He's combined the natural materials with the man-made. Mm -hmm. Like Mr. Tunga. <laughs> Yes, it was fun. All right, um, I, I can't wait to see it completed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Whoop. Hello. We lost some skulls. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Mika, I'm going to come back to you because we got to see yours already. So Alice is next. 
And Alice, you're muted. I'm afraid I don't follow directions very well. So <laughs> I, I didn't have too much to, um, I didn't have too much to use as far as odds and ends, you know. So, so I just Fort this guy. Who is this person? Fort. He's a, a nineteen, a, like a eighteen sixties uh, soldier in at Fort Mackinac. It's okay. just a, a guy that I remember, and this is I had more time, so I just did my grandson in the sun. <laughs> Love him. What a beautiful face. Anyway. Excellent. So I just didn't have the odds and ends to play with because I've been throwing them away. <laughs> Good for you. Well, great drawings. Thank you for sharing. I hope you had a good time. Oh, definitely. Thank you. Well done, Alice. And Margo is next. Okay, I did a Halloween picture. <laughs> I'm still working on that. <laughs> I see? love it. I love it. It's fabulous. <laughs> that Susan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very spooky. Very, you're in your gory. Edward gory. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> I a skull, Susan, but I, I yeah. knew <laughs> love the bats. <laughs> It needs a touch of red somewhere. Yeah, right. No, I thought it was red. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I love him too. Daniel Wonderful. is saying Edward well, Gorey books are so great. Yeah, they are. I have a couple oh, of them. So I love them. Gorey style uh, pictures. You should check her check her art out. Or Who? Just, Who? Dina, my sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, she did one of me. I wonder if I could put my hands on it. I'll, I'll find it and show it to you. <laughs> well, but go, you know, show somebody else first. I mean, next. Great details in that picture. Thanks, Margo. <laughs> I'm going to go to the next person. You can show us later. And okay, Mika, real fast. Let's see if you made progress. It's so big, Mika has to move the camera. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, I before I thought it was wire. Now I see it's some kind of vine. Some kind of vine, right? Wow. It's wicker, maybe. Or wicker. Gorgeous. It's wonderful. It's very cool, Mika. Oh, and you're hanging it from the ceiling. Bravo. <laughs> Three colors and texture. So glad you're here. <laughs> so glad you're here. I hope you're keeping the whole neighborhood awake. <laughs> Oh, Margo? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready if you are. Mika, I hope you come back next week, if you can. Can you see this? It's Emma's for Margo, who was swept out to sea. <laughs> Edward Gorey-like, right? Oh, it's lovely. It's great. It's terrific. <laughs> yeah, this is really Edward Gorey-like. Yes. <laughs> this is just kind of real deal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tell Dina it's great. Oh, yeah. Well, 
She's been sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, she had she caught the flu. I don't know how. Oh. There you have it. Okay. You just gotta have chicken soup from La Isla. All right. <laughs> so can we do in-house sharing now, please, Laura. So Laura's gonna do her technical wizardry and come around with the camera to share folks here in-house. So folks at home, be patient. Gonna take a minute. I guess I have to put it back on spotlight me for now. Yeah. Or Laura, Laura, do I spotlight you? Yeah. <laughs> Laura's new dog. Wow. <clears throat> Loris. Wow. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, come up to my laptop. Okay. All right, Daniel, I'm going to let you go first. Come on up. Pretty fantastic. You got to bring it here. Wow. Isn't that great? Yeah. So yeah. they copied the Magritte painting. It's exceptional. Wow. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah. Is that watercolor or pencil or? Marker. Marker. He did it. Shading. No pencil, nothing. He did wow. it directly. The black sharpie, so it's that wonderful. Makes it well done. That's gorgeous. Wow. Oof. Really beautiful contrast. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, Tamara is next. Do you want to share? Tamara's is so amazing. Can I can I show? So Tamara made this little figure. Oh, you attached it on its own little couch chair, chair. Couch. pedestal. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. Made from wood, styrofoam, and fabric. She wonderful. So Gorgeous. And is wow. wire no glue no glue absolutely no glue wow so it's impressive really it's beautiful to call it going to forget people's names apologies in advance wow. i'm going to forget your no. name and nicole used only wire and wood Maybe if we put something white behind it, you can see it better. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Oh. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Don't forget your pedestal. Yeah. Lisa. You want to share, Lisa? You can bring your sculpture up to show everything. Pretty awesome. And right here, I'm going to. Oh, wow. That's that's terrific. Beautiful paper so you can see it. Mm, yes. <laughs> Fabulous. Wow. Very delicate. 
but she used the wire beautifully to make that lacy structure. I like it a lot, Lisa. Well done. Suman, you want to share? Oh, Sally, because you're not sitting down. I completely missed you. So Sally is next. Are they flowers? Flowers in the flower pot? Yeah, I like them. Very clever wire and wood and plastic. Very nice. And now it's your mind. <laughs> Very involved. Lift it up. Lots going on with this one. Love it. Everything from tape to styrofoam to pins. No glue. No glue at all. <clears throat> And you did some sewing and stitching as well. Mon you don't want to share. Okay. Esty, are you going to share? like a puppet. It's so cool. <laughs> Love, it it. Love it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Very good. <laughs> Sorry. Fabric, styrofoam, wire, yarn, wood. Did yeah. I miss anything? Uh, <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. It's real, says Eileen. And Heather's next. <laughs> very cool heather brought stuff from home so she's got very cool i love this powery shells wow very nice thing. wow Wood, fabric glass beautiful oh fabulous oh. it's beautiful i love it very cool. It's a keeper. Mm. Yeah. And Danny, would you like to show your joy? Danny is here visiting. Mm -hmm. I, I miss you and I've forgotten your name. Uzi. Uzi, you can be next. Danny is here visiting and she copied oh. the Marguerite painting. Yeah, very good. Very yeah. nice. That very, so very nice. Really well done, don't you think? Yes. Great drawing. Mm, beautiful. Congratulations, Danny. Mm -hmm. Oh, Danny added some tears to the dove. Aww. Particularly poignant because of what's going on in the world now, right? Yes, yes. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Use his piece. I love it. We have to figure out you want it to stand, correct? Yeah. Uh, we mm. need something to use for the base. Yeah. Very clever construction. To make a swing. It's a swing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something with dirt or sand yeah. for the base. Yeah. I forgot your name. Rarantica. This is Rarantica, yes. Great, come on up, Rarantika. Rarantika is just very clever. What happened? <laughs> we Sorry, Rarantika. Somebody's <laughs> playing with my camera. I don't know why. Okay, now. <laughs> oh, wow. Great. That's great. Rarantika, you <laughs> pins, styrofoam, wood, and wire. It's like that's, an alien creature. That's great. It's making a smile, Rarantika, which we need right now. So thank uh, you. And yeah. Eileen is next. Very inventive and creative. Want me to hold this? Yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh. So there's the, a berry box. Red <laughs> fabric, styrofoam. She has a bandana. And she has a bandana. And there's an earring used. She has an earring in her nose. But she has oh, it's two a, noses. It's a nose ring. She has two noses. I love her. Okay. Great colors, too. I like that you use the complementary colors, red and green. Notice that right away. Well done, Eileen. She's very sturdy, too. Yes, blue. You did a great engineering job. I do know what I should do. Flowers, right? It's beautiful. Wood, styrofoam, Very wire, cold. plastic. Alexander Calderish. <laughs> Very like Alexander Calder. Do you know him? He's a yes, wonderful sculptor. Yeah. He lived here in Hoboken for a while. Wow. Yeah. The Stevens Institute of Technology has some of his sculpture. Wow. wow. Right. Well done today. And everyone here seems to have cleaned up already. Wow, you guys are efficient. Well, people who were sculpting had a lot to clean up. Oh, it's 12.03. So I'm going to say goodbye. Well done. Until next week. Bye-bye. And oh, wow, I just got a news flash about Ac Acapulco. Pray for the folks in Acapulco, everybody. And I will see you soon. Thank you for coming. Mika, come back again if you can, please. And everyone else, I'm really impressed with your work. Take care.